Well, hi everyone, this is Vegas, and today I'm going to do a little video for you guys on UAVS, and this is the company called Ad Eagle. And there's a lot of talk about the stock on social media, and for good reason. So before I get into details of what is going on, I just want to quickly review what this company is all about. So first of all, the ticker UAVS. This company is a provider of technologically advanced commercial drones. They do a lot of aerial imagery, data collection, analytics solutions, and they had news the other day. Let me show you what the news is. So I get my news from the trade exchange and fabulous company. I'll do a video on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I do want to show you that the stock had a huge volume surge the other day. We saw on April 15th last week, that there was news about the company that they received follow-up purchase orders to manufacture commercial drones for a package delivery. And then we see that um, the stock pulled back and then the stock was halted. And then we also hear that there's new fresh news that came out on the 23rd, which is today, as I'm recording this video late at night. Um, you see that they have advised now that they have a corporate update conference call on Thursday. What is going on with this company? So let's talk about the conference call. So here is the news article. And what they said is um, they are thrilled to be expanding their relationship, and I'm going to highlight that here, with a key client on taking advantage of Ad Eagle's specialized expertise in the custom manufacturing of commercial drones. And they're very excited about this. And they're going to be doing a lot of emerging drones, logistics, and in the transportation market. And in addition to this, the project is going to continue to have impact on their annual revenue growth. And as you can see, it's going to play a broader role, as they've mentioned right here, in defining their long-term value prop to a growing list of diverse industries. So that is important information. Also, we mention here further down, you know, they have drones are very big, obviously in Rwanda and Ghana and Africa. You can see that, you know, China as well has been using drones to deliver food to quarantined occupants at hotels. Also, drones. I saw a video in India where people were social gathering and not social distancing and the police were using drones to watch them and chase them away. So this is very interesting. So that is what's happening on this news, on this UAVS, a lot of excitement going on. The other thing too that I want to talk to you guys about is the review of their presentation that they did back in February. So, you know, if you're not really involved in the stock, you're not an investor of the company or just, you know, swing trading or day trading, I mean, obviously you wouldn't have seen this presentation, but just a quick overview. Um, this is obviously one of their drones. They're also very involved in um, help cultivation and um, involved in the precision farming. They mentioned here that they have processed 2 million acres of crops, analyzed data from 53 different crop types, including hemp, which is obviously very popular. They have a whole platform solution. They have a huge hemp overview, uh, which is, by the way, is a sales as a service solution. They have the proprietary drone manufacturing assembly and customization. This is where I think we're going to hear more information on with regards to this um, release of news next week on the 30th. And you know what? We don't even know who is this partner. There's so much speculation. So let's, we're going to get to that in one sec. So if I scroll down through here, I mean, this just talks about the hemp overview and what they do and um, the features included with it. You know, back in November, they got um, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services did select them to manage their hemp farming registration process. But then here's where it gets interesting. So here are the companies that they're in, that are investing in drone delivery initiatives. So as you can see, the consumer packages, which obviously is going to include FedEx, UPS, DHL, Alibaba, which is Baba, WKHS Workhorse, Google, and Amazon Prime Air. 
And then we have obviously in the food area, you have Uber and 7-Eleven, Domino's. And then we got the healthcare sector. And then we got the heavy cargo. Wow, Boeing's on this list. Very interesting. And then we have here that they do the drone manufacturing assembly and customization. So this is what I want to hear about because um, they mentioned here that they recently entered high growth drone package delivery industry through a contract with a major e-com company. But you notice how even at this event, they did not mention who is this major e-com company. And this is why we go back to this list of consumer packages. Who could it be? I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but a ton of people think it's Amazon. Okay, so I just want to go over like, who are these people at the company? Because they kind of have a very interesting background. So we have here, uh, Barrett Mooney, which is this guy right here. He's obviously the founder and former CEO of Hydro Bio. By the way, he sold that to Monsanto. And do you know that Monsanto actually uh, got that bought out by, acquired by Bayer. So you know what? He made a lot of money. He's probably um, made a big, huge transaction. So this is Barrett Mooney. Then we have Nicole Fernandez, and she's the CFO and super smart. And then we have here um, Brett Chilcott, and he's obviously the founder, president, and chairman of the board. And previously, he had different roles you can see here at Cessna and Snap-on Tools for over 25 years. Very, very experienced leadership team. So this kind of goes... Uh, through the conclusion of what this company is about. Okay, so, so I just want to show you guys um, also one, a couple other things. So we do have here, obviously, the chart of UAVS. And you could see here, it obviously it had that huge volume surge. Obviously, there was a gap fill. And uh, hence, the stock had a quite the run. And look at that. I mean, wow, that was quite the pop. And now we're back down here around you know 65 70 cents uh, per share so a lot of people are picking up the stock because of this press conference or update that they're going to have next Thursday April 30th so here's the documentation with regards to the corporate call update for Thursday, April 30th at 11 o'clock. A lot of people are kind of wanting to dial in and listen because they want to know, like, who is this company? That Are they going to release that on Thursday? I mean, I hope so. I mean, people want to know, like, what is the big secret? It's obviously a secret because obviously they have a uh, contract with this, uh, probably the provider and um, they don't want to disclose who it is right now. Maybe they're doing a test pilot initially and uh, want to make sure that the relationship and whatever they were doing for them is working out. And uh, I guess maybe we'll hear some information. So we are going to be dialing in on Thursday to hear the scoop on what is Barrett going to share. And also... Nicole Fernandez McGovern. What is she going to be telling us? And so we are wanting to know. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to email the company in advance of the conference call. And usually they answer just the investors. And uh, But I'm interested to also know who's on this call because I'm interested to find out. Are any of these like hedge fund companies listening in on this call? That's going to be interesting to know too. Okay, so just the last few points to mention. Also, you are going to hear the term UAV, and obviously that's why the ticker is UAVS, and uh, it stands for Un Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. So obviously it's an aircraft that's piloted by remote control or an onboard computer. So that's why you're going to hear that term UAV. Usually you're going to hear that a lot in their little conference updates. Also, just to mention one little tidbit of the company. 
um, you know, they are they don't have tons of employees. Um, they only have right now six full time and four part time as of the end of December 31st and also reported recently on their 10K annual report, which was filed on April 13th, 2020. Um, they also did mention that um, they have a lot of operating expenses. They have consumed substantial amounts of cash since their inception, and they continue to spend it on product and software development. And so they did mention that they will require additional funds to support the continued research and development activities, as well as the cost of commercializing, marketing, and selling of new products resulting from those um, activities. They did mention that uh, we can generate sufficient revenue and that they do expect to seek finance future cash needs through equity or debt financing or corporate collaborations or strategic arrangements. Um, they do not have other commitments or um, agreements relating to any of these types of transactions and cannot be certain that additional funding will be available on acceptable terms. Um, so, you know, the company obviously has a partnership, so we want to hear what is that about, and they probably won't need to go, you know, um, if they have business on the books, I mean, it's going to be substantial uh, to the growth of this stock. So keep this on watch. A lot of people have this as a swing trade idea, and I wish everyone luck on their trade and trade green, trade safe, position size properly, have stop losses. And uh, look forward to that conference call next week. And uh, we'll see how that goes on the stock. Take care, everyone, and have a great night.